Whenever you're watching a dinosaur movie or visiting a museum exhibit, you might wonder, how did we know what dinosaurs sounded like? And what evidence do we have about dinosaur sounds? Before we start, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. If we take a look at dinosaurs, we'll notice that they left behind a lot of fossils, bones, teeth and even footprints. But unfortunately, no direct evidence of their sounds. So how do scientists figure it out? One way scientists make educated guesses about dinosaur sounds is by studying their closest living relatives, birds and reptiles. By looking at how these animals produce sounds, we can infer some possibilities for dinosaurs. For example, many birds use their syrinx, a vocal organ to produce a wide range of sounds. Some scientists believe dinosaurs might have had a similar structure. Another clue comes from the fossils themselves. Certain fossils show evidences of air sacs and resonating chambers in the skulls which might have been used to produce deep, resonant sounds. Think of it like the way some modern animals, like elephants, use their trunks and bodies to create sounds. There's also a concept called bioacoustics, where scientists use computer models to simulate how sound waves might travel through the vocal structure of dinosaurs by recreating these structures digitally. They can produce plausible sounds that these ancient creatures might have made. And by the way, the sounds you hear in movies are often a mix of different animal noises. Sound designers get creative, combining the roar of lions and growls of alligators and even the calls of birds to create the iconic dinosaur sounds we know and love. However, actual dinosaurs likely didn't sound like they do in movies. Many paleontologists believe they had lower hissing tones similar to modern reptiles, rather than the loud, dramatic roars we often hear on the screen. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.